Hey guys, and Happy New Year. It is 10.30, and I'm watching the Allstate Sugar Bowl because hook em horns, longhorns are playing, and they are dominating. It's like 28 to seven. So, um, I made a goal for myself. My goal, really. Oh, by the way, this is precariously perched on a tin, and then some NyQuil, and then that's what I have my, that's my camera stand for today. So I didn't vlog any today because I really didn't do anything. I did pack. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes, six more boxes packed. And you might be thinking to yourself, Lisa, how much junk do you have? But some of the boxes are just like, I had some storage boxes like photo boxes and I put those inside of a box just so I wouldn't have like six storage photo boxes to try to wrangle. So anyway, I put all of those um, into one box and I was wrapping up some more kitchen stuff because up in our upper cabinets we have like our serving platters and um, I have cheese boards and, and things like that. So I needed to go ahead and get those all done because we're not using those on a regular basis. And I'm trying to, to like pack up everything, everything that's not really gonna be needed today. And in fact, I also packed up a bunch of our glasses. And I probably could pack up some plates and, and um, bowls too, because there's only two of us. So it's not like we need eight or 10 or however many I have. It's not like we need all of those. So I'm, I'm not sure, maybe I'll do that too, but I've got like my cookbooks I can pack up because I won't really be needing those. I don't use my cookbooks on a daily basis. Maybe you do, but I don't. And um, what else? I could probably put my mixer away. And so I can see like tons of stuff that I could go ahead and put away. But my goal was to get the extra bedroom and the office cleared out so that like when the drywall guy comes tomorrow, except he's probably not gonna come tomorrow, but more on that in a second. So, you know, when the drywall guy comes or the carpet guy comes, like it's all ready to go, right? That's my theory, that's what I'm trying to get to. So I've got it pretty much packed up, but there's a couple things still in there, but we'll, we're, we'll work through that. So. The reason that the drywall guy might not come tomorrow is because we're expecting winter weather. So, the winter weather here, if you're not from Texas, let me let me explain to you how this works. In Texas, if you like throw down three ice cubes on the ground, everybody panics, we buy out all the milk, all the bread, schools close, businesses close, and we just shut down. But, uh, and I know across America, everybody's like, literally, it's, like barely iced, but in Texas we freak out. So they're expecting kind of bad weather the next two days, starting at four in the morning, it's supposed to start raining. And it's gonna be freezing temperatures. And I don't know if it's gonna stay below freezing, but it's gonna be cold. So we are, we're not really doing anything different, but I know a lot of people are like, oh, like what are we gonna do? School's not in session right now because they're still out for um, winter break. At least I don't think they go back yet. I'd, I'd have to check. I don't have kids in school, so it doesn't really, I don't really keep up with that. But yeah, so that's what we're expecting. Some winter weather. And we have enough provisions. People, like, if I went to the store, like especially tomorrow, or even today, if I'd gone to the store, you would have seen like they buy out all the bread, they buy out all the eggs, all the milk, as if we're gonna be like snowed in or iced in for days, and we're not. Like the the weather will be fine like Friday probably or Saturday. It'll be fine. And it's not like, anyway, people just like freak out and I'm like, calm down y'all, calm down. It's gonna be okay. So I just stayed in all day today. I was gonna run up to the storage unit, but we decided not to been watching the Longhorns play last, I don't know, a couple hours and, or hour and a half or whatever it is. Um, so, <laughs> he almost made a touchdown, so sorry, got dis got dis distracted, I got distracted. Oh, and I was also talking to Sarah on Marco Polo, so that was fun. 
and I talked to girlies on Marco Polo and yeah. Do you have the Marco Polo app? My, so my daughter Sarah likes using the Marco Polo app versus Snapchat. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know, like they're both the same kind of thing. Although on Marco Polo, the stories stay there, like the conversation stays there. But yeah, or at least it stays there for a little bit of time. I'm not sure how long. And uh, <clears throat> he almost got a touchdown. He being the other team, Georgia. So Georgia's ranked number five and Texas is number 15, but we're, we're dominating. It's 20 to seven stuff. Although they might get a touchdown now. So anyway, I um, talked to Sarah tonight and for a long time, over an hour. Um, yeah, we just caught up on stuff. Um, I'm so thankful that I can like talk to my kids and just kind of catch up and keep up with what's going on in their lives. They can keep up with what's going on with mine. And it's nice. So I don't really know what else to share with you guys because nothing really happened. So I go to the doctor on Thursday for a, I had gone to the doctor, but they didn't do blood work because it wasn't, the reason for my visit was not, would not have, the blood work they would have charged me for, but if I go for like my yearly or something like that, then they don't charge me or something like that. So anyway, I have high cholesterol, so we're gonna, I've been on my meds again for the last month, so we're gonna see if, if that helped there. I have like dangerously high cholesterol, apparently. And I um, mean, it's like 260 or 265, I think the last time it was. And um, so, but I've been eating better. I've been eating keto, and that seems to help it too. Uh, tomorrow the drywall guy's supposed to come, but the weather's probably gonna be bad, so he won't. But like, I still get out with the weather like that. I mean, I don't like risk my life, but like, I'll go a couple places. It's not, I mean, it's not crazy. You just have to be careful. They say that you need to drive like you're taking your grandma's pie in the back seat with the fine china and you don't want to break none so you'd like drive really careful like that's how you should drive on ice so, or something like that maybe i just made that up <laughs> who knows and yeah i'm drinking my water too but in our in our quest to fix up our house we've been finding things that like aren't quite working right for example the refrigerator the water filter started dripping something the faucet in the kitchen, it started dripping as well. So we're waiting on a replacement for the faucet. Marvin's gonna try to figure out how to fix the refrigerator, but we're not taking that refrigerator anyway, so we don't necessarily have to fix it. But I didn't buy any ice cube trays, so I don't have any ice. And my daughter said I should put some ice under my eyes to uh, help with the baggage, but I didn't have any ice. She goes, well then go get like frozen veggies or something. Okay. Y'all just gonna have to deal with the bags under my eyes. But nothing else. If you wanna come help me pack, you know, <laughs> you wanna do it for me, <laughs> you can. I still have to pull up the floor in the bedroom too. But it's all like, remember the other day I was talking about timing? So I want the drywall, well, the foundation guys are, we're gonna talk to them again tomorrow because we really weren't happy. I wanna make sure that my house is like good to go on an inspection, like all things are fine. And the way that they were here when they were last here, it wasn't making me feel like like they were checking everything. And I want to make sure they checked everything. So they're going to come back out and check everything. And um, then after that happens, then we're going to get the drywall guy to come out. And then we're going to paint. And then we'll get the tile fixed and I'll get carpet put in. So it'll all be fresh. Fresh and fresh, so clean, clean. Isn't that a song? So that's our plan. And when I say that the foundation guys didn't do it right, I just don't know for sure that they checked everything and Marvin wasn't here. Marvin's usually the one that's here. And he always makes sure, did you check this? Did you do that? Because we just want to make sure that it's all like good to go for the next person that gets this house because we don't want them to have any issues or concerns. So that's what's going on right now. And I guess that's it. I guess I'll end the vlog here. Sorry that it was short. Sorry that I'm just talking. Sorry you didn't get to see me do anything fun today. <laughs> but nothing fun happened. 
I plan on going to work and on Monday we're gonna start a new thing Ricky and I are gonna start doing videos and we're gonna call it model home Monday and we're gonna go visit different model homes and talk to the salespeople out there and show people on video like the houses and stuff like that so that's gonna be fun I'm gonna start my um, I should do my little birthday greeting and if you're my friend on Facebook then you would get a birthday greeting too I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Now Georgia did score, so it's 28 to 14, but we're still, still good. It's all good in the neighborhood. I was doing this for a long time. I was like singing happy birthday. People seem to like it. And it's just kind of fun. Hey, look at me trying to make my sure my hair looks, wow. Well, you know what? It's late, I'm about to go to bed. This is it's gonna get. All right, let's start with Jeff. Happy awesome birthday to you. Happy awesome birthday to you. Happy awesome birthday, dear Jeff from your favorite realtor. Happy awesome birthday to you. I hope you had an awesome day and it's the start of a great year for you, Jeff. Many thanks for all that you do. Uh, see, I shouldn't have showed you all this. See, when I just try to talk on the fly like that, it's not, I, it's not the same as talking to y'all. Let's try it one more time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Happy awesome birthday to you. Happy awesome birthday to you. Happy awesome birthday, dear Jeff from your favorite realtor. Happy awesome birthday to you. I hope you had an awesome day and I hope it's the start of a great year and thank you so much for all that you do for our community. Now I'm going to do, see what I do is I tape them all and then I go back and um, put them on. Like, I, I, I'll post it to their timeline. I couldn't think what you call that. Happy awesome birthday to you. Happy awesome birthday to you. So anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for, for Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that you had a great day today. Did you eat black eyed peas or cabbage or anything? I did not. So, but I'm still going to have an awesome year. And, wow. I look forward to a really amazing year. This year we're gonna be building the house, finishing the house. We're gonna be moving in. We're gonna be moving from here. We've lived here 20 years. It'll be a little bit sad, but it's a good move and I'm very, very excited about it. I just pray that the people that get this house will have as many great memories as we've had in the house and I hope they love it as much as I did. So you guys have an awesome night and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.